In today's lesson, we are talk about types of nouns. Now, what is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, place, or a thing. A person, for example, father, mother, teacher, doctor, engineer. A place, for example, school, home, kitchen, bedroom, university, college. And thing, for example, book, pencil, pen, a laptop, or a mobile phone. There are different types of nouns, for example, common nouns, proper nouns, countable nouns, uncountable nouns, compound nouns, collective nouns, concrete nouns, and abstract nouns. What is common noun? Common nouns used to name people, places, or things in general. For example, a doctor, a hospital, or a car. Common nouns are words used to name general items rather than specific ones. Go into your living room. What do you see? A lamp, a chair, a couch, a TV, a candle. Now all of these items are named using common nouns. Then we have proper noun. Proper noun used to name a specific person, place, or thing. For example, Mike. Now Mike is the name of a boy. London. London is the name of a city. Then we have dolphins. That is an animal. Countable noun, having a singular and plural form and can be used with a number or a or an before it. For example, a car, a cup, and a bike. In English grammar, countable nouns are individual people, animals, places, things, or ideas which can be counted. Then we have uncountable noun, a noun that refers to something that cannot be counted. For example, milk. Of course, we cannot count milk, water, air. Compound noun, two or more words that create a noun. They can be written as one word, joined by a hyphen, or written as separate words. For example, mailbox, son-in-law, bus stop. Now, what about collective noun? They refer to a set of group of peoples, animals, or things. For example, team, bunch, committee. Collective nouns are words for single things that are made up of more than one person, animal, place, thing, or idea. You can't have a team without individual members. Concrete noun. They refer to people or things that exist physically and at least one of the senses can detect. For example, talk, tree, an apple. Lastly, we have abstract noun. Abstract noun have no physical existence. They refer to ideas, emotions, and concepts. For example, luck, fear, happiness. Your five physical senses cannot detect an abstract noun. You can't see it. You can't smell it. You can't taste it. You can't hear it. Or even you can't touch it. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening.